Blessings upon well, blessings to each and every one of you for the ones that are tuned in for the Love and Hip Hop Reality Show. Let's go say, Shekinah was very upset with Spice because Spice just got out of surgery. As we know, she had surgery for something, her hernia. And you know, she is. I love Spice, and I'm mad as hell I was not there for her in the DR. But I'm damn sure gonna be here for her in Atlanta. So I'm getting aggravated because Spice do not need to have a setback. She want to shake that ass, but the doctor say you got to heal. So which one is more important? You know goddamn well she ain't got no mother is moving this fast. Ooh, OK, so oh, I okay, see. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 right. See? Uh-uh. Oh, baby, baby steps. I was trying to. I didn't know that it would yeah. take so much out of my you body. You and I, these so-called mother uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This mother ain't got no business in here doing a clap, 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 clap. What your problem? My problem is you ain't got no business out here doing all shit. And my problem is you ain't got no business out here telling me what the yes, to do. Yes, the I do. I got I'm an artist. I'm I got a I'm an artist. I got a great back to being an artist. What do you talking about? How dare she kind of come in here trying to tell me what to do? Yeah, she got the best How dare she kind of come in here trying to tell me what to do? I'm going to need you for talk for me, she kind of. I have one more can talk for myself. One thing for sure and two things for certain. I don't want ain't no mother person gonna play with me and my craft and what I can do. I was in the hospital for two months. I couldn't even walk around. Now that I'm able to walk around and get back into myself, I gotta push myself to go back to being myself. Me not gonna lie down in on the bed and act, oh, you warm up for act. Where you want from me? I don't so understand. So is you pushing yourself back to the m hospital to have a goddamn setback or That's what? That's what we don't Cause want. Because at the end of the day, don't you let me she talk. Let me say something. Don't get your Shekinah. Shekinah. You got out for the last week, Pooh. Rehearse with Shekinah and Angel. I'm going okay. to see you at the next class. I'm going to leave them in this rehearsal. It's too much for me. I'm going to come back next week. We ain't no goddamn dancers. Go train that one to dance. Maybe when you train her for dance, you can't find a man. See, she came back out and she was recovering, but she wanted to shake her rump because, as she said, she cannot stop her career for, you know, for a setback that she had. She wanted to keep on doing what she was doing for to get her body back to the way it used to so she could be able to perform and give her performance to her fans. So, but Shekinah was not with it because Shekinah feels like the doctor ordered her to, you know, lay low a little bit. The doctor ordered her, you know, to not to apply too much pressure. And she kind of say, you know, she don't want to set back. She don't want to kill herself. She just relaxed for a little bit. She kind of came up and expressed how she felt too spice, but spice didn't. She was not feeling it. She was not feeling it whatsoever. So... Spice told her a couple of few words and told her, you know, to mind her business, that she's not going to stop her flow, that she has a job to do, a career to do, um, that she kind of needs to mind it. She as well, you know, decided to exit out the building and told the choreographer that, you know, teach Shekinah how to dance. Maybe she can find herself a man. Now, how I feel, I think Shekinah was not coming from an ill will space. She was coming from being genuine as a friend because she don't want her friend to have a setback or something, you know, terribly go wrong with her that she could lose her life potentially. So I understand where she kind of come from, but Spice may be so much under a lot of pressure. She probably saw this from a different point of view. So I understand where both ladies come from. Now, on the comments down below, y'all can let me know how y'all feel on that segment, on that part. Do y'all feel like Shekinah should have mind her business, allow Spice to do what she want to do? Or do you feel like Spice should not win that heart and Shekinah understand that she's a concerned friend? She just want the best for her. Okay. So, the second segment that you will see on attached to this, you know, video, we got Sierra and Eric. Sierra and Eric was going back and forth because Eric feels like... You know, she he he really wanted a girl without no kids in the begin with. He wanted a girl like if he find a girl, she ain't had no kids, that that would be his first child together with each other. But he knew that the reason why it's hard to adjust with Mason because he's heard you call me bitches and hoes before. Come you can't on. disrespect my son in front of my face and then think you just gonna come in the house and just be like, oh yeah, she supposed to be kumbaya between me and this son. No. That's no. Not you just got a jealous streak. Oh my You didn't want to be with nobody with kids. You. I did. did. You, I did. Did you want somebody no, with kids? No, I did not, but I, but I still, I still. Your ass still act like it. 
I always wanted my next female to have no children, because my first should be your first. But because I loved her so much, I feel like I compromised and I still proposed to her and I still tried. And building with her and her children was difficult because they're already older. Me adding my structure and just my lifestyle, it kind of clashed. So it never really worked the way it should have worked. Do this shit. That's why I don't like talk to you. Because it no, gets nowhere. At like go You should have went and got you some lunch. This go nowhere. With no kids. This I'm not nowhere. that bitch. I'm You're not, not that you bitch. Don't, you don't listen. You do I'm what you want. Her. That's what not gonna work. I'm not you her. do what you want. It worked before. It's not working now. You do the same. But I'm and get still the same going result. to be Sierra Renee Gates, a powerful, strong black woman who ain't gonna let no man try her. So if you Gates want a not even your last name. That's you your need to go last find name. you one. You didn't even you drop that last name. You always trying to bring up my ex husband. I'm not. You ex said Sierra Renee Gates. About your that's your husband still. last name. So you brought it up. I, what the? You crazy. You want me to be that's why the not I do not want you to be somebody that, that you not. That's dumb. You just don't. You do what the you want to do. That's why the don't work. Sierra came with kids, and Sierra said he, he can't continue to disrespect her son. But Eric seems like he's at the end of the whips. He seems like he's very frustrated. He even to the point Sierra said that Eric continued to mention her exes, and she's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop her from being a strong black woman. That she's gonna continue to do what she gotta do and voice voice her voice when it comes to a disagreement from a man or from anyone. And I understand where she come from. Like you don't gotta bow down to a man. You don't have to. You understand? Allow a man to shut you down when you want to speak your part, but it's how you speak your part. So I understand where she come from. Eric, I feel like if Eric knew that she came with kids, he knew what he got himself into in the beginning with. If he had a, such a problem with the situation that he should not marry her, he should not got with her. He should have kept on going. So I don't understand why it's a big problem now all of a sudden. But... You know, we just got to continue, continue to watch our shows to see what transpires and what's going to go on. Do you feel like Sierra and Eric will last? Do you all see their relationship, their marriage lasting? Or do you feel like mm -mm, it's not going to go nowhere because, you know, she's a very strong, opinionated woman. He's a very strong, opinionated man. And he wants it his way and she wants it her way and they're going to clash. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about this segment of the Love and Hip Hop Reality Show. So stay tuned. Every other week, I will come in and give my part and my how I feel about the situation where we watched it together. So I'll see y'all in the next video.